Hola, Dani Bell. Ah, hola. <laughs> ¿Cómo estás? I, I'm great. Ah. And you? Ah, muy bien, muy bien. <laughs> ok, you look great. Ah, gracias you look great. y tú también. <laughs> Thanks. Ok, so I'm going to share my screen. Ok. Perfecto. Okay. A todos, mi nombre es Ruth. And my Danielle. Bienvenido a Spanglish Friends. ¿Cómo te sientes hoy, Danielle? Well, I am very excited about the topic we have chosen for today. Yo también. Y es que hoy hablaremos sobre las diferentes formas de decir amigo en español. Oh, great. And we will also talk about the different English idioms that indicate friendship. I think it's always very exciting to talk about those people who go with you everywhere, with whom you can always have a great time, and those who you wish uh, would be with you in the worst of times. Así es por cierto. Ustedes que nos están viendo, Dani y yo estuvimos buscando modismos en español que indiquen amistad, pero no encontramos. Si ustedes saben de algún modismo en español que indique amistad y de qué país es, por favor, escríbelo en los comentarios. Gracias. Entonces, Dani, ¿quieres empezar tu primero o yo? Yeah, sure. I will go first. Thanks. Okay, okay so today I have five idioms about friendship to share with you. The first is through thick and thin. This refers to a friend who is loyal. Um, and supportive through good times and bad, and a friendship that has lasting, lasted a long time. For example, we have and Candy have been friends through thick and thin. Jose and I reminded friends through thick and thin. Remained. Okay, it's colloquially, this would be the same as my bride uh, or die. This also means a very loyal and supportive friend. Mm -hmm. um, an example would be um, Kia and I have been friends for a long time. She's my ride or die chick. <laughs> my ride or die chick. <laughs> <laughs> um, great. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, the second idiom uh, I have I have on friendship is like two peas, peas in a pot. Peas with two S peas. or Z. Yeah, peas. It's, it sounds mm. like Z, but it's an S there, you mm. know, but two peas in mm. a pod. Okay, like two peas in a <laughs> pod. <laughs> so it describes, thanks Ruth, it describes two people who have the same personalities, mm -hmm. um, likes and dislikes who just click and have become really good friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for example, um, Thelma and Luis never argue. They are like two peas, peas in a pot. <laughs> <The end. laughs> That's funny. <laughs> uh, this brings to mind another similar idiom, uh, and that is birds of a feather flock, flock together. Mm -hmm. That was a bonus one. <laughs> the lyrics of that Christmas song, you know, were snuggle up to. Can you see that part? Sing snuggle that part. Snuggle up together you... like two birds of a feather would be. <laughs> oh, okay, great. Nice voice, Ruth. Gracias. Okay. Now, okay, now we have, yeah, yeah, we have two pieces, as I said. Mm -hmm. um, now we have thick as thieves. Okay. Okay, so um, yeah, thieves have to be loyal, you know, if they don't want to get caught, they share the secrets of illegal activities. 
-hmm. So, and they have to keep each other's secrets or will all in, end up in jail. <laughs> An example to refer to in several frames would be those two are thick as thieves. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that it's a little trickle, you know, this word thieves, you know, thieves? because it has the... Yeah, you would pronounce the Eve, you know, thieves. Mm. Thick as thieves. Yes. See. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Um, okay. Now to hit it off. Okay. You missed one, that blank one. Um, wait. A shoulder to cry on, right? Yes. Yeah. A, it's we can go to this person with a problem or mm -hmm. sadness mm -hmm. and they give us comfort. Right. So, for example, um, Melissa can always be counting on us mm -hmm. a great shoulder to cry on. Mm -hmm. Sure. <laughs> yeah. And Melissa can one, always be counted uh -huh. on as a great shoulder to cry on. To cry on. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I like that one, you know? <laughs> uh, and the last one is to hit it off. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, uh, th this means to instantly like or get along with that person from the first time that you meet. Mm -hmm. Usually because of shared interests, goals, and beliefs. Mm -hmm. This doesn't only mean romantically, it can be platonic too. So, for example, Ruth and I hit it off right away, and now we are doing this podcast or YouTube channel together. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So it, it was uh, all of my part. <laughs> okay. So, um, Pana de Venezuela, amigo, mm -hmm. persona de mucha confianza y con quien se puede contar. Ejemplo. Tú y yo somos panas. Mm -hmm. Algo yeah, that's a good one. Sí. Algo similar ocurre con el uso de marica. Que <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a diferencia yeah. del uso que se le da en Chile, se utiliza mm -hmm. para tratar coloquialmente con alguien. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because, it, you know, it, it, that's a rude word. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, con pinche, español en general. Mm -hmm. Ser con pinche es tener con esa otra persona un grado de complicidad, de uh, apego y afinidad. Mm -hmm. y afinidad. Mm -hmm. No se puede mm -hmm. ser con pinche con quien no se tiene confianza y cariño. Mm -hmm. Los sentimientos imprescindibles para que se pueda ser con pinche de otro ejemplo. Él es un gran con pinche mío. Mm -hmm. Ruth, tú eres mi con pinche. Ah. You are my con pinche. <laughs> yeah. Y tú eres mi con pinche. <laughs> Good. Uh, weón de Chile. El okay. país andino le dice weón al amigo. También puede ser utilizado como ofensa. Depende mm -hmm. de muchos factores como el tono de voz y el mm -hmm. contexto de la situación. Yeah. Parce de Colombia. Uh -huh. La diferencia de los chilenos, esta palabra es exclusiva para los amigos. No tiene ninguna connotación negativa. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah che, that's right. boludo, che boludo de Argentina. Uh -huh. Solo... Che boludo. Ah, Something like che that. Boludo. <laughs> <laughs> Solo es amistoso si lo dices entre amigos cercanos. Oh. Uh -huh. Es una palabra que siempre es despectiva, pero uh -huh. con el círculo cercano se convierte en amistoso. Uh -huh. Ya. Yeah. Ok. El tío de España. En España, un tío o tía te acompaña 
a pasarle a pasarla bien y está ahí cuando más lo necesitas. También puede usarse más casual para referirse, referirse, uh -huh. a referirse. Un, uh -huh. okay. referirse a un sujeto sin que sea tu amigo en, íntimo. Uh -huh. okay. ¿Pibe de Uruguay? Uh -huh. En Uruguay, el pibe está ahí en todas, en las buenas, las malas y las peores. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> eh, canal de México. O we, o varidor, o hermano, depende del grado de fraternidad. Pero en todo México, yeah. un we te acompaña en las peores situaciones para reírse juntos en las mejores. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So, yeah, so, yeah, it has been all for today, right, Ruth? Mm -hmm, sí. Okay, do you want to say something else? Um, no, tú es mi canal, mi pibe, mi tía, mi che, boludo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the rhythm. <laughs> Good. Mi parce, mi weyón, mi comche, mi pana. Especialmente mi pana, porque tú eres de Venezuela. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you and I are panas. Tú y yo somos panas. Awesome. And yeah, I'm reviewing, uh, yeah, I'm checking the, you know, the idioms in English. We have through thick and thin, right? Mm -hmm. Sí. Two pieces in a pot. Mm -hmm. And we have um, shoulder to cry on. Yes. And hit it off. Yeah. Me too, yo hit it off. <laughs> yeah. So thanks, Ruth. I yeah. really enjoyed this topic. I did too. And please don't forget to send us um, in the chat below any friendship idioms in Spanish that you might find. Can you say it in Spanish for the people? Yeah, yeah, sure. Eh, y no se olviden ustedes que nos están viendo. Eh, si conocen algún una expresión en español, alguna, eh, sí, alguna expresión que se utilice y, o que indique amistad en español, por favor, este, pueden comentar abajo, dejar sus comentarios abajo y con gusto lo, lo vamos a leer. Awesome. Genial. Gracias, Danny. And thanks for watching, everyone. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Oh gosh, that was cool. Okay. <laughs>